Well, hello, fifth graders. All right, today I want to teach you how we're going to do our name design. It's a radial design, and this is a student. His name is Ben, so you can see the B-E-N, okay? B-E-N, and it keeps going towards the center, okay? And so I'm gonna teach you all the steps how to do this. All right, so what you'll need to get started is one of these triangles. They're on the front table, a pencil and a Sharpie right away, okay? Now, I'm gonna use um, my last name, but um, that's just because you guys call me Mrs. Kenstein, but you could use your first name, okay? I'd actually prefer you to use your first name. What you're going to do is you're gonna just draw really lightly, okay? In case you make a mistake, um, that way we can erase it. I'm gonna make my block letters and um, I'll go over block letters with you on the board if I didn't already, okay? So let's start with letter C. How this is gonna start is your letters are gonna start out very small and then they're gonna get really big and then they're gonna go back to very small. So I'm just gonna kind of sketch this out. Let's see, I'll do, and I'm sketching because it's very light. So letter C is very small. I'm not sure if you guys can see that very well, but I'll go darker in just a second. Then I'm gonna make my O because I want it to touch the top and the bottom of this triangle. So every letter should touch the top and the bottom of the paper. Now my next letter is an N. So I'm gonna go top to bottom, make my block letter N. Okay, now I need an S. So I go from the top way up here, all the way down to the bottom. Now they're getting huge. Okay, now I have a T. So I'm gonna go across my T is going to be a little bit skinny all the way to the bottom. Okay, then I have an I. That's a simple letter to make. And an N. Like that. And another E. So they've gotten tiny. Notice all my letters go from the top of the triangle to the bottom. All right, I'm done with pencil. Now, you're gonna get a Sharpie. You're gonna go over your letters, just like that. Okay, so I go over all my block letters. If you want to make a pattern inside your letters, you're welcome to do that, or outside of your letters. It just might get a little busy if you have a really long name, like mine, I might actually just leave mine plain and color these in with solid color and then a solid color in the background. I haven't decided quite yet, but it's something I'm gonna be thinking about because I just don't want it to get too busy and then you can't read it. Okay, so now I have my name, I outlined it in Sharpie, and now one more step before we can start to make our final design. You have to flip this over and you have to trace your letters again. So I can see through this paper, it's very thin. And I'm gonna trace over my letters just like that. Again. So there's the S, the T, and take your time. I'm going kind of fast so that I don't take up all of your work time. But you can go slow so that you don't make any mistakes. There's nothing wrong with that. Take your time and get it the way that you want to. Here's my tiny little E at the end. Now that you have traced over your name on both sides, it's very important you do both sides, then you're done with step one. 